hi guys welcome again to another tutorial this is a quick tutorial in which i will show you how you can easily interlink lames in matlab with each other how you can run lames inside from matlab and how you can read the lames output file output data file inside matlab and then you can use their data easily you can post process their data easily inside matlab so without wasting further time let's start so first of all all you have to open the matlab and inside the matlab we have to change our directory where we have our lames input data file so in my case uh, uh, like let me go to i have installed my lames here and uh, it depends on you where you have installed your lames code uh, i will try the example file uh, this is the simplest one this example file so i will copy this directory and uh, i will change my matlab directory to that directory now we can see the end file and i have run this uh, before as well so i have the log file but i will run it again here for running uh, from the matlab you have to write system and uh, then wsl.exe mpi exe c dash np2 minus uh, uh, sorry lmp mpi minus n and n dot crack and uh, yeah that's enough so the system is if you are calling any in, uh, cmd command uh, or any internal command of the system from the matlab we use the system command this is matlab uh, command wsl exe is i have installed my matlab uh, sorry i as i have installed my uh, lames code in wsl if you guys don't know how to install it so please check out my video uh, how to install the um, lames inside the windows subsystem for linux and then this is the basic command uh, for lames how you can read the input file so writing this and hitting enter uh, it will run the code inside the matlab okay so now it's run and this log file is being generated now how can we read in this file inside matlab so for that you have again to go to the directory where you have installed your lens and here you have to go to the tool section and tool section there is a folder with the name of matlab now it has different uh, like they have read uh, made these course for reading lens output code uh, you can check it out all of them i will just try the log file because i want to read the log uh, output file copy it from here and uh, paste it uh, to the directory where we have our uh, to the matlab directory where we are currently running our simulation okay so now you can see here here we have this file now open this file and uh, here you can see how you can use this here they have written for example you can read it log data and read data and this is the name of the file just copy it from here and uh, come here now uh yeah this is the name of the log.lems is the name of the output file and uh, yeah let me change it log.lems and after hitting enter you see it has executed and now here it has created a structure opening this up it has made two strings in one string it has all those the uh, titles and of the column and the second it has the values uh, those values uh, the output values of the log file if you check the log file you can see these are all those output values like the first column strip temperature fair energy and all those steps uh, you can see they are here so now all these uh, the matlab code it has uh, read all these value inside this string command now we want these values to be stored in a matrix so that we can post process it so for converting these values to uh, saving it into the matrix we have to uh, use the command string to number the matlab command and for that again we have you, you can check it out here they have written it here somehow 
if you want to convert it just you have to write this command okay so just uh, copy it from here to see and uh, paste it here now here you if you don't know anything just go here and you see this is the title so just change it here we want to convert this string to the matrix so we will write uh, log data and dot data and then this one is one comma one and uh, we want to save it in the matrix the matrix name let's suppose i give it an out and enter so now you can see it is made uh, a matrix with the name of out and here you can see this is also those values you can easily um, that's how you can easily convert the lamps output to matlab matrix palm and you can then like make graphs or you can uh, do whatever you like so like this is how you can interconnect matlab and lamps with each other you can run uh, different input files from matlabs directly like you can sit it out here uh, that first uh, you can make one input script it will read that run it then it can run another one another one so you can like a kind of sit iteration from here as well as uh, you can read the output file so i think this is a, a good option for those who are good at matlab and who don't know much more about other post processing tools uh, so i hope you guys would have learned something from this video so see you in next video and if you have liked uh, this uh, video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the video thank you bye bye